Guys, we're at Wild Arrow, and uh, on this video we want to talk about the hunt giveaway that we're doing with Mountain Ops. So we thought it'd be fun to uh, come down here, shoot our bows. I've been practicing a lot because we will be hunting uh, red stag and tar in June, okay? So we're gonna go inside here at Wild Arrow, which by the way, it's super packed. Hopefully we can get this done while we're here. We're gonna have a little friendly competition. That's right, Casey. I'm gonna send you this video and uh, you versus me. Here we go. First shot, two arrow group. Um, we don't have a red stag here, but we do have some type of mountain sheep. So I'm going for the 12 ring. Casey, you gotta do the same. We're going for the stone sheep right here. Things are like inch or two apart. There's my two shot group. Let's see what we got. I got both 12s, right? That count yep. if they're on the line? Yep, they're inside. <laughs> okay, Casey. There you go. Round one, buddy. Try to beat that. Good luck. So I've got EC money. Call me out on an archery shoot off, huh? All right, we're here. We're at the uh, Hooktail Field Archers. Got my compadre. Uh, he's going to make sure that I'm not cheating, okay? Um, we don't have any 3D targets set up today here, so what we're going to do is use that as a 12 ringer. Okay, that's a 12 ringer. Right, you were shooting a ram. You were shooting a ram with those little circles in it. I'm going to shoot the target. Anyway, we'll see how we do. You probably warmed up for a half an hour or 45 minutes before you shot, but uh, I'm going to cold turkey. Just got here. Haven't even pulled my bow back, so let's see how we do. All right, guys, we're trying to get ready for New Zealand. We're going to be hunting red stags in three months from today, or three, three months and a couple weeks from today. gonna cut here just so you know I'm not lying Winston we're not lying right we're not lying he's not lying kid doesn't lie I'm just out how do we do okay this is the first 20 shot 20 yard two shot group I'd say that's freaking bullseye close to it anyway if you shoot the angle like this it probably looks more like a bullseye than this one that one's just out all right who won that round, guys? Let us know. Okay, round two. We are gonna mix things up a little bit. A kneeling shot at 20 yards. With my eyes closed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is too much. Never done this before. A little high, but that's actually pretty close to the 12. I like having Casey's arrows in there because I know that 12 ring is right below his arrow and I can actually use that as a reference. Dang, man. Pretty good group. Not bad for my eyes closed. How are those? Group, but I don't know. I don't think they're twelves. You actually had a twelve ring. There we go, baby. All right, little trout life twelve ring. I'm on a line again, so I've got a twelve and a ten. Intimidating. Yeah. All right, round two, Casey. Good luck. You need it. <laughs> so you want to do a uh, twenty-yard two-shot group from the knee, like real hunting situation. Let's try this out. It's been a while. Ooh, I can't see where it went. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. 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 You guys tell us who won. You tell us who won. Who do you think won? <laughs> you hear that, Eric? All right, let's, let's uh, step this up. 20 yards is fun, it's cute. Let's go two shot group at 30 yards. Can you handle? Can you handle it? I don't even know where I'm at there. I don't even think I've sighted in my 30 yard pin yet. Maybe I have. Okay, hey, 
Well, did all right. I was closer than I thought it would be. My first shot, it's my second shot, just out. I was calling that the 12 ring, so it'd be the 12, 10. Eight ring, eight ring, I don't know, who won that, guys? First arrow was good, second arrow, not so good. All right, Casey, you're calling for 30? Here we go, stone sheep at 30. Casey, this might be around right here. Dang, dude, how you see me flinch on that one? Those are some bad shots. Casey, if you're gonna take it, you're gonna take it on this round, that's for sure. All right, this is definitely my worst group of the round. There we go. Eight and eight, right? Just don't show this one. Yeah, that's uh, wood. <laughs> Here's Casey, he did have one good shot, but I got two eights. So that's it, that's round three. We'll see, um, let you guys be the judge. One last shot for me. My uh, generous son here has agreed to allow me to shoot one of his favorite toys, the Mashal. We're gonna shoot this thing. Hopefully I can hit it. died he died uh oh uh oh you want to go get a new one let's go get a new one pull it off there pull it off pull it off there <gasps> hey Thanks for letting me shoot it. All right guys, I obviously have a little bit of work to do before I go to New Zealand and try to stick a uh, tar and a red stag with my bow, but my plan is to uh, shoot at least three um, days a week moving forward until June. I believe it's the third week of June is when we're going to New Zealand, but I just wanted to tell you guys, since it's down to the last day and a half, if you have not entered in the Mountain Ops vault, you need to. Somebody is going to win. I know I know how it is. You're at home going, I'll never win that. There's a million people that are signed up to win and I'm not gonna be the one. Well, you're not gonna be the one if you don't get entered, but somebody is gonna win. Someone has to win. Somebody that's watching this right now could very easily be the winner. All expense paid trip to New Zealand with me and Eric to go hunt stag and tar for a week. Why not? Every $5 you spend at uh, mountainops.com, get your name in the hat one time. So if you spend a hundred bucks on supplements, that's your name in the hat 20 times. Or you can go to one of the uh, authorized dealers like Cabela's or Sportsman's Warehouse, buy some Mountain Ops there, download your recipe or your uh, receipt on their website and you're entered to win that way. So like I said, if you wanna be that naysayer at home that says, I'm not gonna win, it's like that famous quote that always goes around the hunting industry. If you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. If you don't think you're gonna win and you don't enter, you're not gonna win! Tell him, Winston. Tell him. As he's sitting there drinking a root beer and a freaking eating a bag of chips. Great father I am. All right, back to the office. Just got done shooting. I'd love to see if Casey could top that. Who do you guys think will win, me or Casey? Oh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Casey because he's got a better name. Oh, and, and I guess I'll go with and he, he probably has no witnesses. He's probably at home shooting alone, setting up everything and just cheating. But um, you guys can vote. Matt Dizzle. Vote. Whatever vote. So you vote. guys, I want to see how many, I want to see what you guys think. So out of the three shot, two arrow groups, who won? Eric or Casey? Put it in the comment uh, box below. Not this Casey. Casey. No, not the this other Casey. Casey. The other handsome Casey. What we're gonna do now though is, so Casey has been on this exact trip we're giving away. You've already gone with oh, Kadrona Safaris. Yeah. You and Jordan. Um, dude, I wanna see some of the pictures you guys took. Okay. 
Uh, and Trevor's sure. going this year. And I'm going with you guys. You don't know that yet, but surprise! Extra bonus. So the winner gets <laughs> to go with Trevor. Trevor's wife wouldn't let him have a baby. My wife let me have a baby, so that's why I'm not going. <laughs> yeah. So Trevor true. gets to go. <laughs> Let's All right, see. let's go through. I want to show you guys uh, some of these still shots they got, and they did a great job. And I just want to hear firsthand from Casey, like what it's like, and maybe a little bit of what to expect for for the winner. Hopefully, one of you lucky people will win, and uh, what you can expect. So, well, the cool thing is, um, like, it's going to be a little bit of a shock. Like when we, I remember when we were going to go over there. I had packed shorts, swimming suits, flip flops, <laughs> and I decided to make a phone call real quick. And I was like, the guy that we went with was his name's Jason. I was like, Jason, what's the weather gonna be like over there? He's like, dude, it's their winter. <laughs> I'm like, it what? Because it's our summer. Because it was in June. Uh so I got rid of the flip flops and grabbed some wool socks. But so when you go on this uh, in June, it's actually their winter. Um, they were supposed to have snow, but they just didn't have any. But this, I think, I'm trying to remember. This is me just messing around with my camera. This would have been when we Photo were, ops. Yeah. When we were stag hunting. Oh, there Whoa, we go. the beast. There he is, when he's down. Dang. That is so cool. Yeah. So did you guys glass him up or? Oh, dude, it was awesome. So <clears throat> we were actually sitting like two ridges over. So probably about three quarters of a mile away or so as the crow flies and the guy I was with um, his name's Marcus and he was like hey look at this and we'd been looking for so this is the this was the second to last day and I still hadn't got a stag um, this was literally the only day that I had to hunt because I was helping Jordan hunt his with a bow and it took him forever <laughs> um, so they, he, he's like, come, come look through the spotting scope real quick. So I went and looked through the spotting scope real quick and I just started snorting like a freaking <laughs> pig because I was like, holy crap. Cause all I could see were his thirds and I'll see if I can find another, another picture of his thirds. But dude, oh, his yeah. thirds Look are how long huge. that is. Huge. So when his head is up, let's see, we'll find some. Dang, look at that. Yeah. Country. So look. So basically, that's about what I saw sitting in the brush. <laughs> and it was just like, holy freaking crap. So this was a stag that, like, it was, it was the biggest stag that we'd seen all week. Mm -hmm. This one was 450 inches. Their bodies are like the size of, uh, like, a, I would say a smaller cow elk. So they're bigger than a deer, but smaller than an actual elk. But then to throw a rack that, that big, big on, yeah. a, on a cow elk size Look body. Look how cool that is. I'm an antler freak. I love antlers. And man, yeah, just imagining. So much character. Seeing those. Yeah, they're all so different because what do they call that? The crown at top? Yeah, so, you so got these your are their crowns. High guards and then the crowns. Yeah. Man, pretty animal. I cannot wait to get out there. What do you think was the best part about being out there? What would someone expect going on a trip like that? You know, in all honesty, like for me, <clears throat> the stag hunting was awesome. But the tar hunting the, was, like anytime I think about New Zealand, I think about my tar hunt because <laughs> that was insane. We literally were climbing and stuff that was as steep as a wall. You can kind of, let's yeah, see look how steep these. You is. can see how steep, so this is, this is the angle of the mountain that we're on right now. Um, so a tar, like, are they a sheep or they're a I mean, Himalayan I don't really tar. Know. So like the Himalayas where, mm -hmm. uh, um, so like, look at these, look at these hooks Dang. right here. That's, they can climb, huh? Oh, dude. Yeah, they're yeah. just like mountain. They run mountains. on rocks. That's cool. The guys that filmed our hunt will be re releasing the tar hunts here pretty soon. And you'll see when I shoot my tar, he's just like running along mm -hmm. these rocks. So that hunt was pretty, pretty intense. You enjoyed that more? I actually did. Yeah. I mean the stag, when I went over there, I was like, oh dude, I want to, you know, it's all about the stag, right? Hmm. If I was to go back, I would let everybody else hunt stag and I would just go hunt tar the whole time. <laughs> That's funny. And I'd do it with my bow. I guess to kill a tar with your bow is like an awesome honor. All right, so tar, man. I never in a million years thought I'd be going to New Zealand to hunt red stag and tar. I'm super excited. 
You're um, coming with I, I'm Trevor. Super excited! I've wanted to hunt with the Hush guys for a long time. Now, I can't believe so it's been this long. It, I I thought my first hunt was going to be with you guys, so we're just going to redeem ourselves, and this is going to be. I'm going to learn from you guys. This is going to be go fun. Hunting New Zealand. Crazy. Crazy is that. So Trevor's coming. I'm coming. Casey's going. One of you lucky winners will be going. There you go. Oh so yeah! Look so how that's pretty what they that look is. Look like. So this is the other cool thing Dang. about going in their winter they grow their winter wow. coats. Mm -hmm. So this is, if you were to go right now, it's only about that long. It gets that much That's longer. Really cool. So yeah. I think this is this is my project, projection, prediction, guess, whatever. All you, Trevor, you, Eric, and Casey, and whoever wins, this will be your favorite hunt. <laughs> Just watch, you think the stag's gonna be? This will be your favorite hunt. When I killed this and I came back and Jordan was like, well, how was it? I was like, Dude, it was probably cool when you killed your stag, but this is freaking amazing. <laughs> and this was his favorite hunt, too. Was it? Yeah. That's cool. So, so does awesome. the winner get to choose bow or a rifle? Yeah. So um, if you're an archery hunter, you can bring your bow. If you're a rifle hunter, you can bring your gun. They are We are giving away a Weatherby rifle uh, with this, so you can take that Weatherby and go over there. Um, I ended up killing both the tar and the stag with a rifle. Jordan killed his stag with a bow and the uh, tar with a rifle. So it just depends That's on what cool. you what you want to do or, or whatever, you have the choice. But um, if you want to be able to do more, I would say hunt with a rifle. Because mm -hmm. you can get it done faster and you can go and see. Not as stressed out with time. And yeah, because it's, yeah. I mean, it's, time time, time, it's only a few days of time and pressure. <laughs> I watch. But either way, either way you want to do it, it's a blast, so. Any final words? Whoever wins is so lucky, it's not even funny. You have no idea how amazing this is and how much fun you're gonna have, so get ready. One last thing before I end this vlog is I actually wanna show you guys what Mountain Ops products I personally use, and I get this question a lot, and uh, people slide in the DMs asking me what my favorite Mountain Ops products are and the favorite flavor, so this is a perfect video to do that. So I wanna first talk about the products that I use, and it's pretty obvious which ones I like and use because they're stacked up right here. The Ignite, this is a new product guys, so this is kind of an in-between the Enduro and the Yeti. So this still has caffeine, but it does not have some of the stimulants that the, the Yeti has as a pre-workout. So this comes out in multiple flavors. Um, green Apple is my favorite, but they also come in grape. This is my single-handedly favorite product from Mountain Ops. It's a pre-workout. I'll also use it on the mountain as well when I really need to pick me up. Those come in uh, lots of different flavors too. And in fact, because I'm going to the gym right now, I just got the Yeti Green Apple going. Um, so Ignite Yeti Enduro, that product as well. That's a great daily drink, endurance, hydration drink. And I'm not huge on pills to be honest with you guys, but I do keep some Blaze pills around and I'll take these camping with me. It's a great energy boost, appetite suppressant, um, you know, a brush of caffeine. That can replace coffee if you're a big coffee drinker. Diffuse, I'm stoked on this product. The first time I ever used Diffuse was at the expo. I was standing on concrete literally morning to night, and I, was, I didn't even know they had this product. I was complaining to Trevor that uh, my knees and lower back hurt, so he had given me this bottle of Diffuse, and that is awesome. People are like replacing that um, replacing like ibuprofen and painkillers with this product. So seriously, if you have a problem with joint pain and stuff, try the diffuse. And last but not least, I want to talk to you guys about is Magnum Protein. Literally take this stuff every day I work out. Well, literally every day. Um, and they have multiple flavors. I'm a chocolate guy, so my favorite is chocolate. You can see chocolate is empty. I'm about done with vanilla and I also have strawberries and cream. So it just depends on your taste buds and what flavors you like. My favorite way to whip up a post-workout shake is with these ingredients right here. A scoop of Magnum, a giant heaping tablespoon of peanut butter. Um, I've been using almond milk lately just to get some healthy fats in my diet and a little bit of a banana on the top. So once I whip that up on my Ninja, it's a... Uh, so good and it's actually like if, if I'm having late night cravings and I want like ice cream or something, I replace it with a protein shake. You guys should try that too. If you have a craving for ice cream or frozen yogurt, try swapping things like that out for like protein smoothie and you can do it with like vanilla, 
banana berry, uh, peanut butter, banana, and the chocolate. It's all really, really good. You just have to mix up your favorite flavors and try it. But those are the things I personally like. Um, get on mountainops.com. Guys, every $5 spent is one entry to win this hunt. And I seriously hope some, a Hushin fan wins this because it's going to be super fun. And I'm excited. I'm just excited to meet who it is. We're going to find a really fun and interactive way to choose the winner, whether we're shooting at like a dartboard or a target at like 100 yards with a gun or a bow. I'm not sure, but we're going to make it a lot of fun. So get to Mountain Ops. Pick some of this stuff up and good luck. We'll see you in New Zealand.